course, there are some developments which are not so positive, and we've discussed this with our Moldovan partners. But we're not going to go into what's going to happen if there are problems after the elections. I don't want to preempt the situation. I just want to see if there's a systemic problem here. or if there are some other problems that we've identified in the past in other electoral processes. And we'll look at that after the election. There'll then be a report uh, from the uh, electoral observers, and then we'll be able to decide on the direction in which we go in terms of our cooperation and uh, relationship with Moldova. We're going to wait for the results, and then we'll go into more details after that. So you have a follow-up question, Christian. If I understand correctly, the developments are not at all positive. No. There are some worrying developments. There are some constructive developments as well. But we have very regular discussions with Moldova. We have ongoing uh, discussions with uh, Moldovan representatives at different levels, technical level, diplomatic level, political level. So I don't want to depict the situation in Moldova as being uh, either black or white. If we have a problem, then we'll try to identify these problems. For example, on the laundromat uh, affair, then we'll ask for action and reaction. But we're working with our Moldovan partners, and we've got good interaction with them, and we'll continue along the same path that we defined, and that's our priority. And this is our ambition for, the, for Moldova. And the ultimate ambition for Moldova is to have cooperation with the European Union, very close cooperation. This is uh, partnership that we've gone into. This is a process which is ongoing and will address the, um, the issues which are a source of worry. There are some constructive, positive developments, as I've said, and uh, that meets our expectations. Thank you. I don't see any other questions on Moldova. I'll open up the session to other questions or in international affairs. We're reaching the end of our one-hour slot here for this midday briefing.